Welcome to our channel, Dr. Bala's Chemistry. I'm your Dr. Bala. So here uh, we are going to make very important conversion from benzaldehyde to alpha hydroxyphenyl acetic acid. So we have to, whenever we start to do the conversion, we have to write the reactant as well as the product initially. Then only we can able to know what kind of changes we need to give. Okay. So please understand, student. So whenever the conversion is given, please make a practice to write the reactant as well as a product. Then only you can get an idea about how, what are the conversion we have to do. Okay. Like, so here are benzaldehyde. We know the structure of benzaldehyde. Am I right? So here it is the structure of benzaldehyde. So here I will be taking C double band OH. Aldehyde group is there. That will be directly attached with benzene to form benzaldehyde as a product. Okay. And here that can be converted into alpha hydroxy phenyl acetic acid. That I'm going to write alpha hydroxy phenyl acetic acid. It is nothing but it is also very simple. Here it is CH, here it is COOH, and here it is OH. This is a functional group, and this is alpha carbon, alpha hydroxy phenyl, and two carbon atom that is what is acetic acid. So I have to write the uh, alpha hydroxy phenylastic acid. So here, whenever you just look out the reactant and uh, product. So here, uh, common thing is benzene. Here also the common thing is phenyl group. Both the phenyl group are common. So I have to add uh, here one carbon is already existing. So here uh, uh, I need to add one more carbon atom. That carbon atom should become a COOH group. That is the clue they are given. So what kind of clue is given? So here uh, only one carbon atom. Okay. So in benzene ring, it will be in phenyl ring, it will be attached with only one carbon atom. But in this phenyl ring, I have two carbon atom. In that two carbon atom, one of the carbon atom should be carboxylic acid. So that time they are given a clue. So just by the way of adding cyanide group. If you add cyanide, so this will be getting converted like this. Are you able to understand? So here, I am taking benzaldehyde. Okay. If I am taking a benzaldehyde here, so the benzaldehyde, if I am going to react the benzaldehyde with uh, NaCN or HCN, HCN or NaCN, means of uh, HCl, I will be going to add this reaction. So what kind of product I will be getting? So you just listen here. So here will be getting formed the cyanohydride. So what kind of cyanohydride getting formed? There is C double band O is there and H is there. This is benzaldehyde. If I'm adding HCN, the H plus and CN minus is there. The CN minus will come and attack. You know very well about why this will be attacked because it has slight positive charge because it is slight negative charge because this carbon is attached with the highly electronegative oxygen. That is what can pull the electron so that it has a slight negative charge. Here it has slight positive charge. Are you able to understand students? So now I will be getting a product like this. What kind of product? So here you just listen here. So here it is, uh, I will be getting formed. So ring is there and in which C O minus is there because it is common attack by the way the ring will move like this. And here also hydrogen is there and C N is common attached here. Are you able to understand students? So here the C N will come and attach here. And this H plus, this H plus will able to directly attack with that. So that is what uh, I will be getting from the hydroxyl group. Once I got this group, so I got my product. You just listen, CH, C, CHOH is there. CHOH is there. And the cyanide group is getting converted into carboxylic acid. That is what my product. My product is here. So here, complete hydrolysis. Complete hydrolysis. Because why I am writing here complete hydrolysis. I think so you understand very well. So cyanide group, if it is a partial hydrolysis is done, that can be converted only amide. If you do complete hydrolysis only, that time only it will be converted into carboxylic acid. The cyanide group is, can be converted into carboxylic acid. I think so you understand very well. Thank you so much for watching. Please go forward to others to get benefit. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to put like for this video thank you so much for watching thank you welcome to tip of the day session today i'm going to give you the tip how to write the name and structure of the product okay so here the name of the product will be given to you but the thing is you have to write the right structure for the product or otherwise whatever you doing for the conversion whatever you convert that entirely will be wrong. 
okay so you have to make a practice how to write a product okay so you have to write a product rightly or otherwise whatever the conversion you are doing that will be entirely wrong okay now so i'll be giving a tip to write the product so here uh, what is the product given alpha hydroxy phenyl acetic acid the main component is acetic acid okay so here what is the acetic acid i think so you understand very well about the structure of acetic acid you don't know uh, have any confusion in this am i right so here it is the acetic acid two carbon containing acid that is called acetic acid in this here they given this is the functional group okay the next to the functional group the functional group is attached to the carbon that is called alpha carbon okay now they are giving alpha hydroxy in that position instead of one hydrogen i am going to write oh hydroxy group okay once i written a hydroxy group that is called the alpha position i written a hydroxy group am i right right and then alpha hydroxy phenyl also they given so phenyl also they given so you just i am going to write the product here that is a phenyl group i will be attaching here okay now you can check the valence of carbon what is the valence of carbon so here it is 1 and for that the hydrogen is say if i am writing hydrogen here you will be uh, having clear idea so here one hydrogen is there one oh is there one co oh one phenyl group is there that is what this will be called as alpha hydroxy phenyl acetic acid so first of all you have to write the two number containing carboxylic acid then in that alpha position you have to uh, put hydroxyl as well as phenyl group that's it or you will understand students i think so you understand well it will be very helpful to you thank you so much for watching thank you for learning share and like this video